Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited to introduce you guys to my manager. Josue, introduce yourself to my YouTube fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my sisters. <laughs> yeah, my sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about the brothers. Um, my name is Josue Morbag Ali. Um, I'm recently hired on as our manager. Um, on the side, I am a celebrity hair and makeup artist. And um, yeah, with Jenny, so we just kind of started working together. We clicked. And we, we clicked had, like this. I met so him many through, ideas. Um, I met him through Pushing Company when I did that collaboration. You guys seen that he did my hair and you know helping me with the makeup and everything and it's just been amazing ever since so i'm very thankful to have you i think we'll have you <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're starting a new series which you know i'm very excited about because i haven't really seen anybody do this before and i just feel like it's good to keep updated with celebrity gossip mm -hmm. because everybody wants to know the fuck the Kardashians are doing, or you know, that's the topic. I feel like they're always the topic, dude. Watch the like, America's most famous family. I know, you know, like they're they're tight as fuck. Don't get me wrong, I love the Kardashians. Anybody who hates on the Kardashian, I can't fuck with you, like hands down. <laughs> well, they are more followers of the fucking president. Yeah, so. I know, like they're everything. They're the new American dream. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, this series is gonna be called. What, what did we say we were gonna call it? Um, celebrity cheese man. Celebrity cheese man. So. How often should we do this? Maybe once a month. We'll, once? We'll wrap it up. Okay. Because we'll have different topics. I'm pretty sure they still want your cheese mask. Which oh, yeah. I want one too. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for it. Oh my god, I have the biggest cheese oh. mask. And he was there. He was <laughs> there, you guys. Like, you guys are gonna laugh. Like, I. Hey, this was like. Yeah. <laughs> shit. She hit the fan uh, with this one. You know what? Then we should just film it after this. I'm just fucking do that. All right. We'll do, we'll do it. We'll just do this one first. Yeah, we're gonna do this one first. So, uh, this week's topic, this month's topic, is gonna be three things, four things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you write them down so we can go over? Yeah, of course. But I guess we'll just start off with um, um, Ty and Kylie breaking up. Okay. Wait, we need to start at the root of the problem. Black China? Black China. So. Black China was originally with Tyga. I really? don't really know too much about them, but ever since like you know people have been talking about like. Um, well, okay. Well, Black China. Black China, of course, was a stripper like Amber Rose. You know, she was stripping in a club. I think it was Ace or something, Ace of Diamonds. And that's when Tyga met her, and she you know, clearly has a banging body. I mean, it's all fake. And her ass I love like, her. I know, I, I know. But what I'm saying, you know, Tyga clearly improved that because she was kind of trapped. She's still trapped, but now she's all like, you know, Mercedes Benz, Maybach. You know, she's okay. classy. She so before wrong. she was kind of like, uh, um, she was getting dollars thrown at her ass, uh, which she still okay. does. But now she has like her eyelashes. Um, she has a clothing line. And no, she's doing her little thing. Her, her, um, what is it called? Lash. 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 It's beautiful. Yeah, they're it's mink beautiful. lashes. They're uh -huh. gorgeous, pricey, but um, it's actually right by your new, your new house. The her. Really? Oh my god, you guys! I am moving out to LA. Yeah, you got the place. You uh -huh. got approved. We she's literally just in. got the call right now before I uh, we started filming. Oh, we're very excited. We're super excited. Like you guys have no idea how many like exciting things that we have. I say excited a lot because that's just. There's no other way to say it. I took know? her on a trip around, um, well, the LA area. I, I don't want to say where exactly. We took her on a trip around. Showed her, um, showed her a bunch of places, and um, she immediately loved this one. I showed her, and she was just like, "This is the one." Mm -hmm. And we showed her some of the ones after that. She's like, "No, I still love the no. other one." Mm -hmm. So she made an offer, submitted the forms, and today they called and said we got approved. You can move in in um, May six. May six. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, but I'm just really happy, you know, because I get to share my life with you guys. You guys have seen me start from the bottom. So I just wanted to thank all of you for that. I don't want to get off topic, but you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So <laughs> Chloe <laughs> Lily <laughs> By the way, um speaking of Chloe and Lily Chloe and Lily, we have a Disneyland vlog. We recently went to Disneyland and I got a year pass. Mm -hmm. Yay. So you guys will see me there very often. And we um, had a little meetup, little improv. It was really quick. Um, uh -huh. And we had so many people come by. It was the sweetest thing in the world. You guys were honestly so sweet to Jenny. We had girls shaking like. I know, like legit. I'm like, it's and you were bitch. You were like, it's okay. It's just Jenny. And I'm just like, damn, <laughs> no. bitch. Well, because I'm with her like every day, so like, right. no. But I, you know, I, I get it. She's she's honestly amazing. She's like addicting to be around. I'm always like. What is Jenny doing? What are we doing? <laughs> we FaceTime her real quick. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. What were we talking about right now? Oh, Kylie. Um, Kylie Black, China, Black China. Black China. Black China. Black China. Okay, so we, we went off topic because we were started talking about her lash place. Mm -hmm. But she has a salon too. Yeah, it's, it's in Encino, California. It's um, beautiful. Um, it's wink, beautiful. wink. Kind of where she's, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, 
it's, it, it is a beautiful bar. I mean, you can do like Alex and Sensons, whatever. So that's where she started off. She was like, you know, she was from the hood. Ty kind of brought her up, kind of like what Kanye West did to Amber Rose, like brought her up. Kind of like Chris Brown and uh, Karu Karushi. 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 Well, Karushi's gorgeous, you know. She's, yeah, she's Karushi's like the innocent one. That's a whole nother topic, yeah, and I really want to get into that because, you know what, I saw that interview and they fucking like just tore her She had to kick them out up. for a second. She kicked Yeah, Oprah she kicked them out. out. So it was Oprah. It was so Oprah's that, team. But you know what? That woman, she is a well, strong no, individual. No. You would never kick out Oprah. It was Oprah's team. So. Right, but still, the the woman who went and interviewed her, she she went in. She, she went in, mm -hmm. and honestly, in. I was like, props to you. Mm -hmm. Oprah got a good ass team. Oh, duh. Uh -huh. duh. Um, but yeah, so the whole thing happened. I'm pretty sure her and Ty got together. There was probably some crazy ass fights that, of course, we don't see because that's what happens behind closed doors. I'm pretty sure there was some crazy ass shit happening. Um, and then what, what was it like last summer? We were like kind of like like speculations came out like Kylie's with Tyga like they're hooking up like and everybody was worried because at the time Kylie was still 16 like she had Dude, just she turned 16. yeah she just turned 17 in August well she'll be 18 in August this year and tell me why this is huge um, um, at, what's her name Black China wrote on her um, Twitter recently she's like waiting four more months or four or five more months um, just waiting around and like everybody thinks she's gonna beat the shit out of you know Kylie because she's probably gonna turn 18 and she oh, kind of did steal shit. her baby daddy and man okay and she's like okay. she said patiently waiting four months and I was like oh <gasps> I didn't see that see yeah. I don't really keep up with like Twitter or whatever but like I kind of just keep up with whatever people are mm -hmm. saying and stuff but I personally don't like Tyga yeah, like I, mean, I love his music. He's tight. I honestly didn't know he was until Kylie kind of brought him cute. out. He's cute, and honestly, I'm really disappointed in Kylie to be honest. Because like you know, the Kardashians are here, and you're gonna date a rapper who has a child. Mm -hmm. It's just like I look but out for the child. How much publicity did she get off? True, this? but you know what? And I'm pretty sure they had a fucking meeting. The Kardashians mm -hmm. talked about like you know, you know what? Do a date him, whatever. Like well, you the know publicity. that him. Kim and Black China were best oh, friends. Oh yeah, dude, they were like. And cool. Kim will not post Tiger like they had posted a picture. I think it was from like a New Year's party, and she did, did, deliberately like cut off Tiger's face. So it was just like you could barely but see. But you his know face. they did. They they do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Publicity. It's publicity. So I I can understand why they allowed Kylie to do that, but it's just like Kylie is better than that. I feel. Let's talk about Kylie fucking looking crazy on every episode of the New Kardashians. Like I haven't even. I don't even watch the Kardashians. Oh, see, I, I kind of I, yeah, I keep up. I keep like how are you going be like the trendsetter, the hot one, and she over here looking like she's still like baby with her big old lips, her little baby hair is coming out, looking all crazy, and then like other episodes she's like straight beat, like, hey, if I knew I was filming that day, my ass would be laid, like, I would have the top hairstylist, you know, that she has a hold to her, one of Jen um, Jenny's friends, Ariel, um, does her hair and makeup, like, I would literally have a person on set ready to go every right. time. I just feel like... Kylie has so much more room to grow. Yeah. Like, you know, everybody always talks shit about she's her not even getting. 18 yet. Yeah, she's not even 18. Everyone always talks shit about her lip injections, her, her, butt, injection. her butt injection, or whatever it is that she gets done. I mean, she has the money. And you don't have to be a certain age to get um, no, you don't. in California. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But I just feel like, as a mother, I mean, I'm not a mother, but like if I was Kylie's mom, I mean, what, what the fuck is her Chris name? Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner. Like, I would just wait it out, you know? Like, Miha, wait till you're 18, and yes. then you can officially do Because you know what? But how banging does her ass look? But dude, it, she looks amazing, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, like, sometimes you do shit when you're young, and even me, like, I do shit, like, a couple couple months ago, you know, <laughs> that I, I, I don't regret, but I'm just like, I should have made a better decision. But you've grown, you've grown but a lot. But again, that, 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 that's the, the only positive part about it is that Kylie will learn but sometimes I feel like when you make those big decisions it's like it's kind of hard to go back and fix that you know what I mean but again it's not my life and it's her life and she's beautiful and she looks bomb as fuck and she can get whoever the fuck she wants mm -hmm. Tyga I just feel like uh, like he you lost know, Black China and Tyga knows that's, that was Kylie. the only Kardashian he could get his hands on it because you know damn well Kendall uh -huh. ain't dating him no. Chloe ain't dating Kendall, him dude no Kendall, Kendall no that's my don't little even baby that's my little no. runway model I would be pissed the fuck off if she ever well, fucking went down to you that you know what uh, I feel on the topic of Kylie and Tyga like whatever you know that's all publicity but the person who has talent in this family is fucking Kendall let's yeah, talk about does. her walking for the uh -huh. Chanel shows mm -hmm. walking for you know for um, she's a new face of Calvin Klein like that mm -hmm. is iconic like Kate Moss was the face of Calvin Klein you know right. like she literally ha Carl Lagerfeld has her walk down the runway of every single show he has since she was found so then she actually has the talent like out of the whole family 
Sorry, I got a text and it was kind of like, <laughs> it's, it's, the, uh, <laughs> it's the apartment lady. Okay, we'll, we'll call her in okay. a <laughs> um, Yeah, I just feel like they're all talented, don't get me wrong. Like, Kylie well, they're all beautiful, more, but I like that. Yeah, I love all of them. Like, I, the, the, the one that I like the least uh, is Chloe. Well, let's talk about Chloe. But we're Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> but we, we're still on the topic yeah. about the whole like yeah, thing. Girl, it's because we sit and we talk about this shit, and we were like, "Dude, we need a film. We need a film about this because I want to know, like the whole like Amber Rose opinion, yeah. and the whole Wiz Khalifa. And, well, dude, that shit's that's crazy. perfect because remember Chloe and Amber Rose are the ones going at it. Because honestly, I have Amber Rose's back. Uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, we you know what? No, well, you know what? Amber Rose needs to remember where she came from, exactly. okay? Exactly. She okay, was okay, a stripper, okay. of course, mm -hmm. and she was doing that shit since she was 15, mm -hmm. just because Kylie's doing it right, and her and Amber, um, Ky Amber Rose and Black China are best friends, right. and she was backing up her best friend. Yeah, she's backing her up. Like, that's her homegirl, you but know? Chloe but she was needs to do it the right way. Chloe was backing up her sister. Exactly. So, I guess both situations, it's like, all right, but you know what? Like... But oh, Amber Rose did fucking put yeah, those bitches to shame. Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, she don't give a fuck. Kim was just like, "Kylie, stop it!" Wait, when? Because <laughs> she um she had like um because um Kanye West had made a a, a statement on a, on a on radio show. It was right? like the Breakfast Club, and he was just like um after uh, before I got with Kim, um I had to shower myself like thirty times. Um, after fucking Amber Rose, and Amber Rose was like, "Wait, but wait, didn't your bitch that? get um, um, nut in her mouth by Ray J?" She oh, literally tweeted that. Oh shit, mm -hmm. dude, she went mm -hmm. in. But it's just because a lot of people talk shit on Amber Rose. Like, I personally, personally, sorry, I can't even talk. I love Amber Rose. Like, whatever, sea lo que sea, she is an independent woman. I can see her twerk all day. I've seen yeah, uh huh. Her body is amazing, and people always go in about her cellulite and shit. But it's just like her She's ass is real. Mm -hmm. You know, she and she's a mother. She's a responsible woman, like for her son, and she admits that she's not over fucking um with Khalifa. Mm -hmm. And I respect that. Well, it's so his much. Author, like you know what? She shouldn't be around town trying to fuck every celebrity. Okay, but you know she she's heartbroken. I know. I know. Like as a woman, when you're heartbroken. But to do it so publicly. True, but she's a public figure. That's true. Think about it. Fame, publicity. It's, it's yeah, fame, it's a publicity. publicity. When you're a celebrity, your and life is never is the same. Publicity. Yeah, exactly. So when people talk shit on me, I'm like, the fuck? You talk <laughs> more shit on me, bitch. <laughs> no, oh my god, I mess up did I mess up my lipstick? Oh, you're fine. <laughs> oh, what, color, what color is that? I'm wearing stripped down with honey love. Oh, you that love stripped down. She's like, when I wear stripped down, I'm like <laughs> Yeah, when I wear stripped down, it's like it's going down. <laughs> A watermelon, her mama, she loves strip down her. Oh, she does? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she does wear that often. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty on her. Um, damn, like, we go off topic. But, I know. I'm... Okay, going back to... Well, let's go back to now this Chloe and Amber Rose. You know how they were fighting? Uh-huh. Um, and with Chloe, she's always, like, the most accepting one on the show. Like, she's always, like, the happiest one. Like, everybody goes to Chloe for, like, help, like, true, Scott and Rob. True, true. And remember the Bruce Jenner interview? A huge topic, you know? I didn't even see that. But I want to talk about it. We'll talk about it after we talk about the breakup. And yeah, the, it, uh -huh. was, it was just it was just a mess. But going back to Kylie and Tyga, they're officially broken up. Um, because <laughs> on Yahoo News, uh -huh. yeah, on Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo News. do not play with them. Yeah, Yahoo don't lie. When they got the source, they got. But the you know, source. they broke up because Black China straight mm -hmm. put Tyga on blast. And you know what? I respect Black China for that. Mm -hmm. And you know, fucking Tyga hates hates. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all saw what she did, that. right? Yeah, like she posted up. Um, Four, like four pages of text. Yeah, four pages of text messages. Text messages that Tyga was sending her. He was probably drunk. He's probably crossfaded, fucking on one. Begging for begging her, her, her begging for her back. Begging like, please. Yeah, like I just want to see you for like ten minutes. Dude, that's some little kid shit, mm -hmm. dude. And I know a lot of guys that do that. And it's just like, dude, like I just don't like Tyga because mm -hmm. of what he did. And then he's he still like, post pictures with Kylie on his Instagram, saying like, when you when you find beauty, you know, like da 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 da. He like, don't give a fuck, dude. He just want to fuck her. And he wants that That's money. It. That's, That's it. That's it. That's all it is. And honestly, I feel like his career is kind Got of going downhill. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh my God, you guys. I fucking love Welvin. Like, if you guys could get him to watch this closer. video, like, oh, I fucking love him. Got it! Wait, we have a big, big news. So, yeah. Jenny actually purchased this with her own money. Uh -huh. I told her not to. I know, he told me about, still, like, no, I'm She still wanna spend the money on this. And the company who makes these cases actually contacted me, well, because I run her emails, right. contacted me and said, um, they want to create a case with her on it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you guys saw the new Hot Cheeto photo shoot when she's like, has a handful and she's like, in her mouth. Well, um, that picture is going to be on cases now, 
and um, they're gonna be sold exclusively on her Instagram. Um, they'll be out within the next couple of weeks. So I mean, it'll that's... be the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. So I'm so excited. Back and forth. And I mean, that was just an opportunity that came out of nowhere. And how? I mean, come on, everybody wants a fucking case of Jenny eating hot Cheetos. On her. Oh my God, you would, you would, you I would want one. Me? Yeah. You would put me on your case. I, 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 I told him I want one for myself too. I was like, hey, oh. you better send me one. <laughs> Don't well, I mean, play. you guys don't have to buy them, but that'd be cool as fuck. Like, know. eating hot Cheetos on a phone case. I feel honored. <laughs> yeah, so we're still trying to figure out what we're going to put on it, mm -hmm. but I don't know. It's, it's, we'll in, the, it's in the works. It's in the works. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down below. Always going off topic. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know, we always go off topic. That's why we're like, we need to film it. Oh, I'm sure about that. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, she straight put Tyga on blast. Mm -hmm. And I feel like... Low key, that was a little immature of her, mm -hmm. but you know she she's she hurt. made her point. She's hurt. She's hurt, and I give her every right to be hurt because she's a mom. And the baby's involved. She probably gets her hopes up easily. Right, but do you think they'll get back together? I, I, I what I think Not is right that Kylie's gonna get her ass beat by Black China. Dude, I'd be scared. <laughs> yeah, I'd be too. straight. Uh uh. And but you know what? You can't blame Kylie. I know. It's not I Kylie's know. fault. I know. I know. But Kylie should have. I'm pretty sure. But Kylie is a little girl, dude. She doesn't she's know 16. what it's like to struggle. She's no. 17. She, 17. She really don't know what it's like to struggle with money. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying Black China struggles with money. Have you all seen our house? Mm, don't but even you... get me started. Okay. But another thing also, Kylie is not a mom. She doesn't know what that love is like. And Black China is a mom. So that's why I respect Black China and I respect um, Amber Rose. Because you you guys know that I was pregnant and you know I went through a miscarriage and that shit hurts. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when mm -hmm. you're a mother, like you feel different. And your child. you know what? Kylie le está coqueando. Cause she'll be going back and forth because um Black China had posted a picture with this like sixty thousand dollar diamond watch that Tiger got her and she you know, posted it like that. Oh, she still wears it. And then it. Kylie the next day, straight posted a picture with the two like over her mouth, and she had like Tyga on her on her on her shoulder like resting, like you know super coqueando la. Up, and you know TMZ goes in, so Black China was leaving um, Maestro's or um, Steakhouse right here in Beverly Hills, and um, um, she's like, oh Black China, so um, do you still have the watch that Tyga gave you? And she puts on her arm out of her G wagon, it's like, and it straight rolls off. She's like, coqueando. Oh, this bitch oh is going to get her ass beat. I got chills, dude. She's going to get her ass beat. I got chills, dude. I'm going to hear that shit on the news. Uh-uh. Okay? Why would Black try to tweet, patiently waiting four months? Because it's just like, and you know people are gonna be like, no, don't lower yourself. Black China, fuck that bitch up, dude. Black China, Black China is in the club twerking with Amber Rose, fucking getting dollar pills thrown in her pussy. Like, she's low, but her her status or her, like, celebrity-ness or popularity is kind of high because this whole... Yeah, it's it's a, it's a big deal, you know? You're fucking but with America's most... I knew he was gonna end up with none of them. And I bet you Kylie, she's crying herself to sleep at night because she thinks that, oh, Tyga, oh, Tyga loves me. Like, I'm the Kardashian. But I know she has, you like, know? older sisters to, like, come on, bitch. Really? Tyga? Like, how many I guys know. has Kim been through till she got with? I mean, I love the whole Kim and, Con um, Kim and Kanye relationship. I understand a lot of people don't like Kanye, but I feel like them together, they just get each other. They get, like, that selfishness. Like, I mean, they have a child together. Yeah. You know, you know, Kim wouldn't have, you know, a kid How beautiful anybody. is that child? I know, they're fucking beautiful. I'm itching. Oh, sorry. I'm itchy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I, I always go, oh, it's because I fell on the street. Yeah. And my little was asking me, he's like, oh, what happened? And I was like, oh, I fell on the street when I was a little girl. And oh, were you a little girl? Yeah, and the tar from the mm -hmm. street, like, went into That's my really skin. Lead. That's like eating yeah, that's just lead. So he's like, oh, it's a tattoo. I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so battle scars. Maybe that was um, So... What else? I mean, what what else was there to talk about? Well, now we're moving on to the Chloe. Like, Chloe has always been the most, like, welcoming, the most, like, you could always talk to Chloe about everything. Mm -hmm. And Bruce Jenner said in his interview that out of everybody, the person who took it the hardest and is still trying to cope with it is, um, well, with his transition. Dude, is, that um, shit's crazy. It's Chloe. Do you guys know that in the 80s, he had transitioned for five years? Dude, for five years? Five years. And then he was scared of the public, like, scrutiny, so he stopped. And, um... The reason why him and Chris divorced um, recently is because he's been um, transitioning for the past year and a half. So, I mean, everything's coming official. Like, the interview gave me chills every other second. Um, I need and, to watch it. And I understand he finally wants to be himself, but now at 65 years old, like, you know, he really waited that long, but he, he just can't live, he can't live this anymore. He can't live the lie anymore. Like, he and he's been transitioning, so there's like, he's actually, he's actually a full B36 now. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my. 
I don't miss this. This is for real. And you know what? Like, I'm a man, and uh, you know, I'm gay, but I, I love my, I love being a man. Like, I love. You right, know, but it's different for everybody. I know, I know. Like, I love know? things fabulous, but at the end of the day, like, you know, what's up? If uh -huh. shit, if shit cracks, I'm like, what the fuck All is right, up? You know? Uh -huh. I'll fuck somebody up. But, you know? <laughs> every, I know you guys should see him. <laughs> like, when we're out in public and, like, well, he I sees, protect like, danger. her, you know? Yeah, fuck that. No, when she's walking, like she walk across the street, I always hold her hand like this. Like, yeah, like always, like I always have to watch my back too. Mm -hmm. I went to Rodeo to go see Ramon Ayala, dude, and I was, you know, saying excuse me to move, and there was this bitch that was like, and I'm just like, bitch, back the fuck up, like <laughs> you ugly, you ugly, you ugly, your hair looks ugly, your dress she is was a mad mess, you were in like you fucking mad, bitch. Yeah, she was mad because she I was in like, VIP. With, with, I was, I was kicking away. This was Kardashian. Funny enough. Um, I fucking love you. If you're watching this, I love you, bitch. Like. To you need to meet him. I he's know. So I watch funny. all his videos. He's hilarious. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. I just, I, I anybody with the Spanish accent that does videos on Instagram, I'm watching. Yeah, like anybody in the Latino community. Yeah, like it's a like hardcore Spanish yeah. accent uh -huh. like that. Oh, that's just I love, comedy. I live comedy. for that. Um, español? Eh? Habla español? Habla español? Mm -hmm. Un poquito. Un poquito. Mi español no es muy bueno, pero ah. todos los días practico, okay? Practica un poquito. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's mucho, mi español es mucho, yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah. I can read Spanish, like, clearly, like, and, and it, it, it flows, but when I speak it, it's like, I have the mentality, you know, when you speak English, yeah. it's like, you're speaking English, but when you speak Spanish, it's like, it's, it's harder. It's the opposite for it's me, the, like, I like, cannot like, read Spanish, I'm like, rrr, rrr. but speaking no it, I'm like, como tu tacon, you know? No, and I'm just like, no, because I grew up speaking Spanish, but like, I speak English. There's even some hard words that come out of my mouth. I'm like, what the fuck did I just say? Yeah, like, like <laughs> even the way you 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 pronounce not pronounce, but like you talk about like makeup items. Like, how do you say mascara? Rimel. Rimel. I was gonna say mascara. <laughs> <laughs> mascara. Wait. Lipstick. No. <laughs> bile. That's bile. Bile. Yeah, bile. Oh, see, I got a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, bile. And then blush is rubor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Spanish. We say put it into shame. We need to stop. I speak Spanglish, so I'm scared, you guys. I'm practicing just in case I have a, a, a big interview on TV. She's gonna be like something. Selena, like, um, I'm muy, muy, muy excited. excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm practicing, you guys, because, dude, people go in on everything. They talk yeah. shit. And um, she, um, I mean, you know, Jenny, Jenny has. Clearly, she started with you guys a long time ago, and like um, not too long ago, she met the creator of Hot Cheetos. You guys know oh, she lives for Hot Cheetos, like mm -hmm. always has a bag in her mm -hmm. purse. But she lives for them, and um, the guy actually like um, loved her atmosphere, loved the way she was, and um, they've been talking back and forth. And he saw the Hot Cheeto photo shoot, and um, me and her, we were invited to um, the Latino influence um, influencers dinner here in Los mm -hmm. Angeles. So the top influencers of the Latino congregation are gonna be there, and um, we gotta get our Spanish on point. I know you're yeah. making a mess it's, over there. Like, you see me like, <laughs> Hola, buenas tardes. Mm -hmm. Dude, días. like legit, like when I like when when I have like Mexican family members like talk to me and like I don't know what the fuck to say. I'm like, sí, mm -hmm. <laughs> sí, <laughs> 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 oh no sé. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's just because you, oh, and then on another topic, everybody goes in on Dulce Candy's um, uh, saw, Primera America. The, the Primera America um, no, interview. No, Despierta America. Despierta America. Yeah. Primera Impacto. In, <laughs> damn, Primera Impacto. <laughs> <laughs> no, shout everybody out to, was going name? in. Lewan James. Shout out to Lewan James. Who's Lewan James? He was in the video when he's like, Mira, cuando me está maquillando, no me estorbes, okay? Si no quieres estar en primer impacto mañana. Okay, that's the guy. Espérate. Okay, I love the way he talks. It just flows. Anybody with the Spanish accent, I'll follow. Yeah, I don't think that she she's embarrassed that she's Mexican, but what I think happened is like she wants to be proper. Well, she, remember, she was in the army. She was like full on army mechanic. Like, she's probably around like you know American people, like the American culture, so much that you know being out there for so long kind of maybe rubbed off a little bit. But um, she definitely always talks about her roots, you know. Yeah, I know she does. But she it's loves just her like, fucking tamarindo. And yeah, shit. you know, but people Jamaica. people just like to talk shit on everything. And, I know. Well, I mean, people, people like change, dude. people see like, her Chanel bags and her Louis Vuitton. It's like, so what? Like, if you guys had the money, you guys would be spending that I shit know, too. I know. Don't sit here and Come tell on. me that you wouldn't. Hey, it's, I, I want to know one person that does not want to go on Rodeo Drive and fucking exactly, swipe the card and be like, exactly, exactly. Got it. People like just like to you sit. Know, and we talk work hard shit. for that shit. Yeah, fuck yeah. I love nice things, but I work my ass off, right? You know what I'm saying? I love me some lobster. Mm, talk about being on a photo shoot till fucking three in the morning, right? You were on a photo shoot for three Yeah, I've been on a photo shoot for 14 hours. Fucking 50 hours doing hair and makeup. 50 actors doing hair and makeup. That shit is tiring, you know? Pepper needs to come back. 
Oh, he does. Okay. He does uh, Pepper's makeup from American Horror Story. You guys. She's like, I love her. Jenny's gonna do her when she comes back. Yeah, he straight said like you're gonna do her makeup next, and I was like, <gasps> shut the fuck up. Wow, she has amazing makeup skills. I trust her. Honestly, like I, I I'm all right at no, makeup. No, stop, but... stop. You're good. You're good. Okay. She's amazing. Trust me. This okay. bitch could. I, she could be. I, I take tips like. Cause like I do editorial makeup, so it's a little different than glam. But when I see her do her glam, it's just like, if she awake, I'm awake. <laughs> Good morning. I know, like I, I can go this. from zero to. 100. I literally called her. I was like, you better be ready for this video. She's like, I know. I was like, I'm ready. Ready. <laughs> Glowing. <laughs> Glowing. <laughs> um. Well, you know, let's let's end oh, this wait, one. The, let's end with like a little bit of the Bruce thing. My opinion on Bruce, I just feel like you know what, like life is too short to hold back on anything that you want to do in life even if it's the craziest shit ever you do it mm -hmm. just do it even if you go to jail no, i mean don't go too crazy but it's just like it's the experience we life nobody to jail <laughs> mm -hmm. it's the experience life is about experiences and it's about emotion and doing what you love to do with your life you know what i mean so i respect bruce for going through it because you know what dude that's some shit like that's really some shit um, like and i know latinos we were raised as um gay and that whole world oh, sorry the video did get cut off um the camera was on fire literally it was like camera is too hot <laughs> i don't think he said it like that but he said it like all like fancy and shit. but um the point of this whole thing or the ending of it is um i mean we, we were raised to like be a, a little um i guess close-minded about the gay thing the transgender the whole the whole situation so pretty much if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say it at all um Kids are doing. Kids are killing themselves. You know, they commit suicide because they feel like they have nobody to talk to, or they feel like they're gonna get judged by the world. So, you know what? What? What does it? What does it help to just give a? I know. Help I think. Hand? I think what it is like people are so scared to expose their children to like gay marriage and blah blah. blah. They want to keep that away from them, and in the end, their kids end up being gay. You know what I mean? So it's just like, don't be scared to be yourself. Just do whatever makes you happy. Because honestly, the moment you let go of judgment, the moment you let go of everything, and I'm telling you guys from personal experience. Mm -hmm. Like literally, I this past month, it's just literally been a month ago, I've completely let go of everything. Like anything that was negative in my life, I just let go. And as soon as you let go, you live a happy life. And I've been so happy. Like I don't know if you've noticed, of but course I have. I'm really happy. And you know what? Like people always try to bring me down. Like yeah, I even received a text message in New York saying that I was a bitch and that I was a slut and that while we were on a fully expensive yeah, like we trip were, to New York. Yeah, we Come were on. like on a trip to New York, out for work, you know, out to see you guys, like, you know, to just have a good time and stuff. And like, I re just received a, a hate text message saying that like, I have money, but I don't have happiness. And it's just like, who are you to say that I don't have happiness? I haven't been this happy until now. It's just like, I'm surrounded by so many people that I love. Like, you know, my family, I do this for my family, mm. honestly. Like, she really does. She I really do. Because like I have big dreams and I have goals and I'm not gonna let anybody get in the way So nope. it's just like you can sit here talk mad shit on me And it's just like when you talk shit on me and you know try to Take down like my positivity. Here's it's just like that. you're only like making all we're doing is Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's all it is. So don't ever let anybody get in your way like no matter how small you feel as a person you just Break through and you be the best that you can be and for anybody watching that is going through uh, a tough time finding yourself or you feel like you know what this this world isn't for me like don't take your life like nope. there's so much more out there right. you don't know what's gonna happen in five years you might be fucking bigger and better things you know you might be off in college finally happy with yourself right. like you know everybody growing up you know they're finding themselves you know everybody goes through depression growing up so oh just, yeah just know it does get it does get better of it course better. it does get better and a lot of people always told me like you know it's gonna get better jenny it's gonna get better and deep down inside like in my heart i just felt like no 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 like when no, she was no, going no. through the whole miscarriage i literally had to pull her out of literally. the fucking room and i was like we're going literally. Go, you know thing. what i felt like you did also help me like you know like pick me up or whatever well, I was but the i way, had though. a conversation with a special someone and he helped me get out of that state and if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be living here in la you know um mm. yeah so i'm very thankful for him yeah. <laughs> you have to keep everything a secret now. uh-huh secret <laughs> always because <laughs> it's special to know, me know, you know? I know and i would i wouldn't want anything to get in the way of that um but so yeah. um I guess the moral of the story is, it's more of the story is if you don't, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed. I know. I really hope you guys like this new series. 
um, since I did hire him on, like he's on top of me for everything. So that's why I expect more videos, especially since I'm out in my place now. Expect cooking videos, expect fitness videos, expect beauty videos. Any type of video that you can think of will be up on my channel. And leave, leave any requests down below. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I love you guys all so much. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.